What is up you guys? It's Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another taste test of the Lion's Pack vegan, gluten-free, edible cookie doughs. I am so excited and hey look, I've got five this time. Usually I've been doing them in like batches of like four and I had these four ready to go and then they just recently came out with this flavor right here and I was like shoot okay I'm gonna buy that and then I'll just taste it with these ones because otherwise I would have to wait till another three come out for me to try it with batches of four so I was like well, why not just do five of them all at once four of these are actually new flavors and one of them is a flavor that I realized I had not tried yet so first of all if you haven't checked out the other reviews go down below and check out that I will link down like the playlist I guess of all the other videos this is like what part six part seven I think I've now officially after today tried all the cookie dough flavors so maybe I'll move on to some of their other products if you guys want me to do taste test reviews of that but otherwise if you haven't already click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up otherwise we are gonna get going with this taste test so Starting with this first flavor, this is one that they've had for quite a while and I just hadn't tasted it in my other videos, but it's Oreo cake batter. So they've had a regular kind of cookies and cream Oreo flavor and then they had the Oreo Reese's one, but I hadn't tried the Oreo cake batter, so got my hands on that. These three newer ones that came around the same time, we've got an orange dreamsicle. I'm so excited for that one, honestly red velvet cake which is nice and red as you can see we've got carrot cake and the newest of them all which is a limited edition is marshmallow marshmallow what stardust yeah stardust almost reminds me of the unicorn flavor when they came out with a while back so we'll see if it tastes similar or what so i'm gonna measure out like a little bit of each and then we'll go through the macros as i go through the flavors all right, so I got the flavors all right here. We are going to start with one of the OGs, the Oreo cake batter. Macros on this, 110 calories, 3.5 fat, 16 carbs, and four protein. This is what it looks like, if you can see that okay. I need to get an autofocus camera. But yeah, you got the, all the sprinkles and the pieces of Oreos, so pretty excited. Mmm, oh my gosh. That tastes way more cake battery than their birthday cake flavor. I remember this tastes like yellow sheet cake, classic birthday cake, and then you get the hint of the Oreo pieces. So I, I love that. That is really freaking good. So sweet. It's gonna be hard for me to keep my hands off of. That's for sure. We've got next, let's try the orange dreamsicle. Macros on this, 110 calories, five fat, 15 carb, for protein, it's pretty typical that's for protein, it's just the carbs and fats that differ. So yeah, it's got a nice orange color to it, and it's even also got like Oreo pieces in it. So, we'll see. Hmm. Orangey for sure. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it just tastes, it tastes like, like an orange cookie dough which doesn't make sense to me i guess because when you have orange dreamsicle it's a popsicle you never have orange cookies like the only kind of maybe pastry thing you'll have that has orange flavor might be scones but i don't know i like it but it's not like oh my gosh i'm gonna go buy another little thing of it um but it's not like bad if you like orange dreamsicle orange cookies i've never had an orange cookie but i don't know Maybe this is something you might like, but it's okay. Um, next, red velvet. So this is 100 calories, four fat, 14 carb, and four protein. You've got the nice red color, even like the white chocolate chips. I guess that's supposed to imitate the, usually it's like a cream cheese frosting that you put on red velvet cake. So here we go. Hmm. Very rich flavor. Usually I feel like red velvet is like a lot more. Mm, nope, never, there it is. It was only like the last bit you get that chocolate part of it. I don't know. 
it didn't quite, it tasted, maybe my, my, my mouth is just like too infiltrated with this orange flavor right now, but it tastes like a weird, odd sweetness, I'll be honest. Not like, oh my gosh, overwhelmingly red velvet cake, whereas I've had their mug cakes for their red velvet cake, and that tastes like red velvet cake, but the cookie dough, eh. All right, now for carrot cake. Now that smells like carrot cake. So the macros on this, 100 calories, five fat, 14 carb, and four protein. This one also has like kind of those white chocolate chips in it. So I'm gonna get the other flavors out of my mouth, but here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that totally tastes like carrot cake. I like that a lot. Like, I honestly haven't had carrot cake too many times in my life. I don't know. My parents never cooked it or anything like that. But I have, it's always been something that I did enjoy. So I do really like that one. That, that tastes 100% like carrot cake. Totally recommend it. All right. The newest flavor, the Marshmallow Stardust. What does that mean? I don't know, but it's pink and it looks cool. The macros on it, 100 calories, five fat, 13 carb, and five protein. Hi, <laughs> a little extra protein for you guys. So yeah, it's all pink. There's not really, no, there's like little chunks of like white chocolate chips. I'll steal one of the chunks, put that on top. Here we go. Ooh, soft. Pull it in the fridge for a while, so. If I can grab it because it is cookie dough. It's, you're supposed to keep it in the fridge, by the way, if you guys buy these. I'll have to do another giveaway. You guys want me to do another giveaway of this? Mmm. Mmm. That was like a mini marshmallow, not a chocolate chip. Now, I don't know what this flavor is. I mean, you'd think maybe it'd be like a berry since it's pink. It's good, but I really don't know how to describe the flavor. A hint of marshmallow, not crazy marshmallow-y. It tastes, if you've had them before, there's like a typical sweetness that you'll taste throughout all of them. But, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I gotta order these now in my favorite, most to least. I'm gonna say Oreo cake batter, bomb AF, then carrot cake. I mean, if I were to one of these three buy another one, that's what I'm trying to like judge it on. It's like between. Oh sh. <laughs> totally just like flew out of my hands one second. <laughs> All right. Oh gosh, that was funny. Um, it's kind of between these two. Like, neither of them was I like crazy over, but I didn't hate them. And the orange dreamsicle. It tasted like orange or it tasted like the flavor's name. Whereas these two were kind of like, I didn't know how I felt about it. But because of the fact that I feel like you don't eat an orange dreamsicle an orange dreamsicle cookie, that it just doesn't make sense to have a cookie dough flavor of it. That's just my personal honest review. Just letting you guys know. So if you guys do want to go give it a try, I would say. Um, they do sell them like packs of four and then it's like discounted versus just buying them one at a time or you can do a pack of 10 and feel free to use my coupon code because it'll help you obviously save some money who doesn't like saving money so yeah go ahead use that maybe we'll do another giveaway coming up whenever I hit another big milestone maybe I'd wait till 5,000 subscribers or even 10,000 subscribers then I'll do a huge giveaway or something I don't know, but I love these. This brand is awesome. They do an awesome job at making a cookie dough that's macro friendly and be for vegans. Or even if you're not vegan, give these a try because it's just like an easy raw cookie dough and good macros, as I said, like you saw. So definitely give these two a try. If you want, go ahead, try these guys. Viewer discretion advised. I don't know. <laughs> so just to let you know. And so I hope you guys enjoyed my honest review on these flavors. If you did, do give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, join the Fit Fam, and you know, comment below what other kind of videos you want to see. Um, tell me the flavors that you guys like from the Lions Pack. Now that I've tried all of them, I'm like, what do I do with my life? Like, let me know if there's something else you want me to try, like their brownies. They have so many really cool products, so yeah. 
I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.